It's so funny. The whole day, she's been like so silly and we've been laughing so much. <laughs> Confident in my decision, confident in the surgery and the surgeon. Tuesday morning everyone what do you have oh my gosh Harlow this is the Christmas ornament Judd and I got to be like our first Christmas ornament for like when we're married and I kept finding it on the floor so I thought it was just falling off the tree and I'd have Judd put it back but it's in Harlow's mouth so now I'm thinking that Harlow's been taking it off the tree because we've kind of been putting it where you could reach it. <laughs> you little sneak. <laughs> Anyways, good Tuesday morning, everyone. Today is a busy day for me. I have a second surgeon consult this morning for my J-tube surgery. We've definitely decided to do the surgery. We're just not sure which surgeon to choose. Um, I already have one good option that we met last Monday, but I think having options is a good thing, which is why I'm meeting with a second surgeon. And then in the afternoon, I have an appointment with an infectious disease doctor just to make sure I'm really done with this MRSA infection because of the abscess that popped up and all of that. And my mom's taking me to these things, so I'm excited to spend the day with her. And Harlow's just excited. <laughs> my mom and I are talking about her nutcracker obsession. She loves nutcrackers. And you have... So many. Because <laughs> I collect them. <laughs> I collect them. I've been collecting them for years, so I have, um, yeah. I know that totally is over 50, I know, <laughs> I think I stopped counting when I got to 50. She's a crazy <laughs> nutcracker lady, but she doesn't have them out all year, she has them out for Christmas. for Christmas, and this was the first Christmas, Jen and I had a tree up and everything, so we didn't have any decorations, so like, my mom brought hers over, and um, <laughs> a lot of nutcrackers in our house. And Jacqueline hates them. <laughs> I don't hate them. I'm just like, freak out. they're a little freaky to me. Their mouth and then their eyes. But I mean, it's nice. I like our house decorated. It's just funny to me. I, I get her nutcrackers for Christmas. So it's like a good go-to <laughs> gift for my mom. Anyways, we are enjoying each other's company, laughing, and we're on the way to the surgeon. Made it to the doctor. She has way too much energy today. <laughs> but um, we'll update y'all after the surgeon consult. The appointment went great. Um, my mom is eating breakfast here at First Watch. Looks delicious, mom. I felt like I could try eating, but not solid food. So I got a smoothie and I've had a little bit of it. So far, so good. Um, there's a dog sitting outside First Watch. Like, you know, it was a pet. They're sitting in the outdoor area, which is fine. But um, I mention it because when the dog saw Harlow, it got really angry and was like pulling and lunging at Harlow. And I was so proud of Harlow because she was like, she obviously got a little like, whoa, what is this? But she kept her focus on me and we just walked in the restaurant and then she was like, Nothing happened. I was so proud of her. She didn't react to the dog, so. And I mean, they allow pets on the patio, so that's fine. I was just, I had to mention it because I was really impressed with Harlow. So regarding that other dog, some of y'all might think that if the dog is that poorly behaved, the handler, owner, should not bring it out into public. And I'd probably agree with you in this instance because the dog was exhibiting some pretty aggressive behaviors towards Harlow, but... I like to give people the benefit of the doubt. It's not my place to judge that person. Maybe they were out trying to train their dog. Who knows, so. Well, it didn't work if they were trying to train <laughs> Mom. <laughs> I'm just really proud of Harlow, and like I said, I don't like to judge others in that situation. But anyways, my mom has like a lot of energy today. Do you want to tell them what happened in the waiting room? <laughs> We're checking in, and everybody's like, oh, you know, the dog, and then her fitting thing starts going beeping, beep, beep, and you should have seen everybody. <laughs> they, was, they were all looking at us with those big eyes, because they thought, most likely, that she was having a heart attack or not. And there she is, so no challenge, uh, like nothing changing, <laughs> opening the 
opening the backpack and taking out this machine that she has in here and they just go like this. And everybody's like, with these huge eyes, you know? Okay. I turn around and I see them, I start laughing. I can't stop laughing because I know what goes through their brains, you know? I didn't notice the other people at all, no, but geez. my mom was laughing so much. She had to leave the waiting room. She's like, I can't, I can't, and she laughed. And then everybody was thinking, what a bad mother is she? And she's like laughing at her daughter, you know? They were all looking at me with that bad face too, you know? I'm going like, oh my God. I didn't notice the other people doing anything like that. But my mom, I was like, you need to calm down. This is like a calm waiting room. And she's being so loud. We were laughing so hard. It was so funny. And then, oh, Harlo, careful. This is why you should sit or lay down. But the, we were just... Was so funny. The whole day, she's been like so silly, and we've been laughing so much. <laughs> oh, it's fun times. Harlow's being good. She's oh, my mom's asleep. But uh, we're here at the infectious disease doctor, and um, after this, we'll be going. Well, we have to pick up groceries, and then we're going home. All right, y'all. Well, we picked up the groceries after the doctor appointments, and now we're home. I am hurting and worn out from a busy day, but I started a crock pot meal before we left this morning, and I'm really happy I did that because by the time we got home, the food was done. I just had to add a few things to it. I'm boiling the noodles because it's a chicken noodle soup, so all I have to do is boil the noodles. We don't have to worry about driving more to get takeout or ordering anything. It's just easy meal and chicken broth like settles well with me and this one's really tasty. I don't have a recipe to share with y'all because I just do everything like from memory and stuff but I'm sure Pinterest has tons of like creamy chicken noodle soup recipes for the crock pot if you're interested. I really like Pinterest for recipes. Ta-da! Soup is done. This is the soup that Jacqueline has done, has cooked for me and her. It's you delicious. Like it? Mm-hmm. Awesome. Thank you, baby, for cooking this soup for me. Um, my mom and I are just going to spend some quality time together, enjoy dinner, and then I'll update y'all on all the oh. doctor stuff. I had such a fun day with my mom. I mean, we weren't doing necessarily fun things. It was just doctor appointments, but we could not stop laughing. I loved it. So anyways, the infectious disease doctor simple. As far as MRSA goes, I'm doing really well. I'm going to finish the antibiotics the ER gave me, and then I'm going to do a special antibiotic cream in my nose for a few days, and a Hybliskins, Hyblikins, like this special soap for a few days, and I should be good, but when you have MRSA, it kind of just stays with you, so it could pop up again in the future, and that's why we're just going to be vigilant and careful. The surgeon consult also went great. I wouldn't say it was simple, because there was a lot to it and the doctor spent a ton of time with us, which I think is awesome. But overall it went well and I've ultimately decided to go with this second surgeon for my J-tube surgery for a few reasons. So both surgeons do this operation open versus laparoscopically. And if you don't know what that means, a quick Google search will explain that better than I can. And the reasoning they both gave for why they prefer open is because after a very long time of doing these surgeries, they found that open gives them the best view and control and ability to do what they need to do with the small intestine because that is where my feeding tube is going. However, both surgeons do the operation a little differently. The surgeon today makes, and this is the best way I can explain it, a tunnel in the small intestine to help your body better accommodate the feeding tube. And from the research I've done, which compared to a surgeon is obviously like very, very insignificant, but I was interested in learning more about that as an option. And the first surgeon didn't do this. Today, the surgeon explained to me how this tunnel helps with tube accommodation and stoma maintenance and long-term use of the stoma. And so I just personally thought it was a better option for me. And that's one reason I went with this surgeon. Another reason I felt this surgeon was a better fit for me is because while both doctors practice in the hospital system I'm in, the first surgeon did not operate at the hospital where my other physicians are located because there's lots of different hospitals within the hospital system. The surgeon I met today 
does operate at the hospital where my other physicians practice and knowing that while I'm inpatient, if I need to see my physicians, they can physically be there and be on my team and be on my case and you know, they know me, I am established with them, they know my complicated, more rare disorders and I was just much more confident with this setup. And I just felt like I connected with this surgeon more. He was extremely patient, thorough, answered all of my questions, which I had a 32 of them. I know that for a fact because I had a printed sheet of my questions. And something I really liked about this surgeon is he didn't walk into that exam room already committed to doing J-tube surgery. The first thing he did was sit down with me and very seriously discuss the pros and cons to make sure I was absolutely ready for this next step. And I really appreciated that after that discussion, I was even more confident in my decision to get the J-tube and even more confident in my decision for a surgeon. I know that this is going to improve my quality of life and this feeding tube with its continuous issues, it's just not an option. When it comes to something as crucial as nutrition, we need something reliable. The surgery is set for January 15th and I'm expected to be inpatient for a few days. Fingers crossed it's only a few days. The pain will be prevalent because it is open abdominal surgery, but he did tell me just because it's open surgery doesn't mean I'm gonna have this huge incision. He actually does not expect to need a very big incision, which is good. Full recovery can take anywhere from a few weeks to a few months. It really just depends on the person. And with my Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, I do have delayed healing but whatever complications may come from my EDS or other medical conditions, we're gonna handle as best we can. It'll make things trickier, but not explicitly dangerous, as in the benefits still outweigh the risks, which is why we're going forward with the surgery. I have literally had so much stress regarding the issues that come from this feeding tube and just tears of frustration. I mean, it's horrible when something you rely on so much doesn't work. But at the same time, this feeding tube has literally saved my life. It has helped me so much in my battle against gastroparesis and just steady nutrition and symptom management. So I am ready to take the next step and separate this tube so I can continue getting the benefits with much less of the hassle. And I'm confident in my decision, confident in the surgery and the surgeon. And now I can enjoy the holidays and just wait for January 15th. One problematic area I do see with this is I'm going back to school spring semester. I made that decision months ago. And even though I'm only taking one online class, classes start right around my surgery date. So I don't know, I'm gonna to talk to my disability advisor about this because if I don't go back to school this semester, I have to reapply to my university because I had to medically withdraw this past spring. I didn't go back this fall because of health issues. So we'll see, we will figure it out. <laughs> okay, this is the exact noise my feeding tube pump was making in the waiting room. And right now it's because I finished my day feeds and I do have to hook up to night feeds tonight. Anyways, in the waiting room, it was just beeping. So I had to quickly unzip, press a button. That was it. But I don't know. My mom just found it so funny. And you know what? When your feeding tube pump goes off in a quiet waiting room and makes an awkward situation, sometimes you just got to laugh at it because what else are you gonna do? And gosh, my mom really knows how to make any situation lighthearted, comical, and fun. So I enjoyed my day with her. Oh my goodness. Look at her face. Like I just caught her doing something bad. What do you have? <laughs> Harlow. Harlow, bring that to me. Get it. Harlow, get it. What is it? Come here. Is that our reindeer? Don't wag your tail like you've done some heroic feat. She took that off the bookshelf. I put it there for Judd to put back. When did you even get this? <laughs> you little sneak. She keeps stealing our little reindeer. I really hope you make it through the winter holiday. I'm like surprised because she doesn't usually do stuff like this, whatever. <laughs> Anyways, um, after such a busy and productive day, I am understandably worn out, so I am going to bed early. So with that, I'll say goodnight, and thanks for joining us on our adventure.